This video is a manifest of the power of AI. In this video, I am going to show you how you can do voice chat with your large language models like Llama 3. This tool is always ready, which has been created by Josh from Tasmania, Australia. And this tool is evolving quite rapidly and one of the best tool I am going to review this week. So I will be installing it locally on Windows and then we will be using it to do the voice chat with the model. Always Ready is a simple large language model assistant with the perfect amount of user interface and that interface is nothing. All you do is you do the voice chat with your LLM with the help of some of the keyboard keys. That's it. It can easily read from or write to your clipboard to on the Windows. You interact with always ready entirely with hotkeys. As I said, you can voice chat with LLMs via TTS and STT. You can read from your clipboard and you can do writing too. Right now it supports OpenAI, Anthropic, TogetherAI, LM Studio, and I believe Olama is also on the way. So really hats off to Josh for putting in this hard work. This shows the power of AI in my humble opinion. There are a lot of things which you can do with tools like this. For example, whenever you learn a new concept, you can simply jot it down with the help of this tool doing your voice chat. You can even ask questions from LLM with it. For example, if you are doing an interview or taking an interview, you can take notes, especially with your interviews in your private setting. This could be a real blessing. If you flunk the interview, this could really be your helper in preparing well for the next one. You can do a lot of journaling with it. You can uh, log a lot of stuff with it. I think as a part of my research for my videos, I'm going to use it heavily in the coming days. Also remember, it's a very, very early project. So expect some bugs and stuff, but still uh, works like a charm. So let's get started. Let me show you how you can get it installed locally on your Windows system. I don't have any GPU on my system where I'm going to install it. So it, you can use any um laptop with bit of a decent memory you would need open ai's api key for this demo because i'll be using their tts with open ai so you would need to go to platform.openai.com and grab the api key by the way you can also use it with the local llms or the piper tts so options are there so let me take you to my local powershell window so if you don't know how to open powershell simply go to your uh, on the bottom left in your windows desktop just type powershell and then when the powershell icon appears right click on it and open as administrator create any folder anywhere on your system just like i have done on my desktop with the name tts and then in this tts we are going to create a python, python virtual environment where i will be installing everything so this is how i create the python virtual environment the name of the virtual environment is ai env the advantage of creating this is that it keeps everything um, isolated so whatever i install in this virtual environment stays there and it doesn't interfere with the rest of my system first time it takes a bit of a time so just bear with it that is done and now let's cd to that ai env virtual environment folder and then scripts folder that is done and now let's activate it and once you activate it you are going to see it in parenthesis ai env that is our environment now next step let's git clone this always ready and i will drop the link to this github repo in video description so that you can also use it so i'm simple using git command let's press enter it is going to clone all of it in our local directory in the scripts one Let's wait for it to finish. Should not take too long. And that is done. Let's cd to that directory. Let me clear my screen. Okay, so now we have cloned it. Let's install all the requirements. And this is what I was talking about that when you install all the requirements here, it just keeps it in this virtual environment. You don't have to worry about rest of it. So let's wait for it to get installed and I will clear the screen. You can see that it has installed all the prerequisites requirements. So that is good. Let's clear the screen now. Now, if I do the ls-ltr here, 
okay dir so you see in this dir there will be a file called as example env.example and config.py we need to rename it so first let's rename this file which is called as example.config.py i'm just using powershell command rename dash item example.config.py and then just rename it to config.py now if i catch this config.py then if i scroll up a little because i will be using open ai's key so i would need to make sure that open ai um, is uncommented so if i just keep going up so these are the open ai's one so you see it is already uncommented completion api open ai completion underscore model gpt4 so make sure that these are uncommented if you are using together then comment this one use together's one if you are using anthropic then uncomment that model but i am going to use the open ai for this one okay now you can also use the llama 3 one so let's do this let me instead of this one maybe i will uncomment um, this llama 3 8 billion and then i will comment this one so let me quickly do that so there you go you can see that i have uncommented this together and meta llama llama 3 8 billion chat and i have commented the open ai one also make sure to go to together ai website which is together.ai and from there grab the together api key because you would need to set it in the environment which is together underscore api underscore key so let me save this file and exit and i'll clear, clear my screen next step which we need to do is to rename our dot env dot example file to dot env so let me do it and now if i get it then you will see that you would need to specify your together api together underscore api underscore key there plus you would also still need to specify your open ai's api key because that is the tts model we are using so there you go you see that we have this together underscore api underscore key and open ai's api key so let me put in my keys here and then i will save the file and clear the screen and that is all you need to do in terms of installation now in order to run it just specify this python main.py and it is going to start your voice assistant so let me press enter here so you see that it has started now in order to start recording you would need to press ctrl plus shift plus space on your keyboard and then once you have finished speaking you would need to press this again ctrl shift plus space and then it is going to generate a wav file and audio file and it is also going to speak it back to you so let me quickly do that so you see that as soon as i have pressed it it has recording has started and whatever whatever i am speaking now it is recording it and once you have done speaking you can you need to press that control shift space again so let me do that And then you can talk with it again like control shift space hello llama 3 is one of the best llm out there and let me press it again control shift space there you go again it has saved the recording i have copied the text to the clipboard for you and it has copied the text to the clipboard and i can paste it anywhere i like amazing stuff so that's it guys this is how easy it is to get this installed on your local windows system with llama 3 as you saw and you can chat with it it is going to transcribe it it is going to speak back to you and you can practice a lot of things with it I will, as i said i will drop the link to this repo in video description again really hats off to josh for creating this if you have any comments please share if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed 
then please share it among your network is as it helps a lot thanks for watching